What's up guys, Brian Van Dyne here. Got some new goggles on, I'm gonna try these out. Um, wanted to show you how to do a uh, disc brake job on a new semi. Super, super easy on a Peterbilt. So here's how it goes. First thing you do, you uh, build up the air, chalk the tires, release the parking brake. Then you pull this pin, I found this is a really easy tool to use for this. You stick it in between there and you pry it apart. Easy peasy. This uh, They sell these at Napa or O'Reilly's, uh, like 30 bucks. This is a Carlisle. Once you get that pin out, there's a washer and there's this pin right here. You pull that out. This bracket right here unwedges and pulls out. Then... Uh, if the brakes are released, you can just pull these old uh, brake shoes out. As you can see, I still had some life left on these. After 97,000 miles, 94,000 miles, I still got life on them. You know? So I could have ran them a little bit longer. Uh, but it's time to rotate the tires anyway. So, you know, might as well do it at the same time. So I pulled those out. Then what you have is you pull this cap off, and right here there's a little key. This comes on and off, so don't lose it. 10 millimeter. You just, uh, you do it until you hear the clicking noise. You know, click, 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 right? And what happens is, is these cylinders that push the pads together will retract. Right, you get it all the way till it stops, and you put that cap back on so you don't lose that. Obviously, the new kits come with one, but you don't got to worry about that. Once you have it all the way retracted, these springs are really easy to put on. Let me just show you how it's done, real quick. You take your brake pad, right? You take one of the springs. You put it on one end, and then you just squeeze it. You just push it till it clicks. It's hard to do this one-handed. Just like that. Easy peasy. Right? And then you just tap it in very lightly. Uh, you know, I tapped it on these little prongs, but you probably don't want to break one of those, so just... Go very easy. That's what I did. I just slowly tapped it in and she went right in. So that's how you do a brake change. Don't forget to pound that like button and pound that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.